Babe, can I come in? Hey, are you okay, baby? You've been in here for hours, so I thought I'd interrupt you with kisses and a cup of your favorite tea. Mwah. What are you up to? You're working on something. Let's see. My grand plan to write something for NaNoWriMo. Huh. NaNoWriMo? NaNoWriMo. Hmm. Well, that's awesome, babe. You want to do NaNoWriMo? Sounds like the perfect challenge for someone as original and creative as you. I'm sure you're going to boss it. You know, I did NaNoWriMo a few years back. Yeah, I did. You've never seen me as a writing type, huh? <laughs> well, I'm not really, but I like the idea of challenging myself to do something crazy, like try and write a novel in a month. <laughs> you like the idea of it too. But now you think it might be too much of a challenge because you missed Nanoplamo. Hmm. Yeah, that's what October was. But it looks like you've already written out a pretty solid plan there, babe. You want me to take a look? Sure, I don't mind. I've done this before, and I'm more than happy to help my baby out. <laughs> uh, scoot over, so I can cuddle you while I read here. Hmm. This isn't a bad plan, babe. You got the basic plot, setting, your main characters outlined. What's that? You're worried it won't be perfect. Well, it doesn't have to be right away. I mean, writing a novel or even a short story takes a lot of time and patience. At this point, it's all about getting your story out of your brilliant brain and on the paper. Or the screen. So, it's going to be rough around the edges. But yeah, you'll probably find that sometimes you just want to delete everything and start over. Because you're not feeling where the story is going. When, when I was writing out my novel, there were plenty of times I wanted to just delete everything and give up because I felt like I couldn't get the words out right. But you know you've got December for Nano Edmo, huh? National Novel Editing Month. So you've got a whole month of editing to smooth things out. Your outline is really good though. There's a lot of detail. But don't be afraid of straying from your original idea because your story's going down a different path. I found that when I got writing, I had to change some fundamental ideas behind my plot to make the story flow, but don't get discouraged by that. You might end up writing something awesome, but completely unexpected. So, you have the whole of November to write this out. Have you set yourself a daily limit or goal? A chapter a day, that's a pretty solid goal. Hmm? You're worried that you might lose motivation. Well... A whole chapter a day is a pretty big challenge. But you could do what I did, if you're ever finding that a chapter is too much. When I had a rough day or just wasn't feeling it, I gave myself an hour to write a sentence of whatever came to mind. The sentences were sometimes plot ideas for later on in the novel, or completely off-the-wall random, like Jerry's favorite ice cream was chocolate, so he decided to kill her. <laughs> Obviously, I ended up not using most of these sentences in my final novel, but it did keep that writing spark alive. It was kind of like a weird self-motivator. But if you're really stuck, the website has a bunch of different things to help you out, like a forum to talk to other writers and motivation articles written by some pretty big authors. Yeah, there's stuff written by Lemony Snicket, Neil Gaiman. Gaiman? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And if you get really, really stuck, I'm always here. Mwah. I'd be happy if you wanted to run ideas by me, or if you wanted my help on how to write something. I'll also be here if you want someone to make sure you're writing something each day, and official tea provider to keep you fueled. Huh? <laughs> but, um, I don't want you to end up thinking this is a chore. This challenge is meant to be fun and motivating. You already put so much effort in and seem really excited to do this. It'd be a shame to see you start regretting it. Or, you know, give up. You're a really creative and imaginative person. 
You got a great idea for a story here, and I, for one, would love to see this written up. But I guess my main word of advice for you, my beautiful wordsmith, is that you should definitely stick with it. It might be hard to get the right words, so you might have no idea where your story is going, but you'll be thinking yourself later that you did. So don't get discouraged. Yes, even if you don't finish the whole thing in time. Well, look at it this way. Even if you don't, you'll have something to keep building from and adding to in your own time. But if you do want to finish NaNoWriMo in time, I'll be here to help because I love you. <laughs> and I love seeing you doing things that get all creative. <laughs> Yeah, I'm basically your own personal cheerleader. Hmm? You'd feel more motivated if I had the outfit and pom-poms. Well, hmm. I'll see what I can do about that. But no promises. For now, get to writing.